okay in our series of logical reasoning for competitive exams we have come up with the next question which says that a b c d e and f are six members of a family of three generations a is the father of c but c is not his son e is d's brother in law and the father of f f is b's grandson d is the son of b how many male members are there in the family first line is given that a is the father of c but c is not his son so this only indicates one thing that c is the daughter of a because she is not the son of a now e is is d's brother in law and the father of f now first to establish a relation between e and d there can be two ways of doing it so either Uh, it could be that E's sister is the wife of D, or D's sister is the wife of E. So we are bo in both ways. E and D will be the brother-in-law of each other. So this situation is ambiguous. So now in the second place, which says that F is the son of E, or and E is the father of F. So now we know that E has a child, means E has to be married. so in this way we were in a ambiguity that how are they brother in law to each other that's now clear because e is married so e is wife would be the sister of d so that one place is clear for us but we do not know the gender of f because it's just given that so we cannot assume anything as of now this was clear in the previous slide now this is where we have reached in a new slide which says that e is wife is d is sister e has a child whose gender is not known now f is b's grandson d is the son of b now f is b's grandson but at the same time d is the son of b so if b was the maternal grandfather or grandmother then d couldn't have been the son e had to be the son and e and d are not real siblings so either b is the maternal grandparent or the paternal grandparent now because d is the son so it's clear that he is the maternal grandparent of f so okay so this is now because then it's the wife and the d's parent is b and then further on f is the child of them now b is the grand f is b's grandson so means f is a male and b d is the son of b means d is also a male and this we have now figure now f and d are also men now b is the parent of d we do not know the gender of b means f is the maternal grandson of d now putting a and c into the blanks they fit completely and our family tree is complete so now this had been done now we knew that a and c a is the father of c who's the who's or who's the daughter now if we put them into the blank spaces where a is married to b and c is married to e and the sister of d the, the entire family tree is complete and we had to find how many male members are there in the family so 1 2 3 and 4 our answer is we have four male members